night, while investigators try to determine if remains found at a southeast Houston dig site belong to missing teen Jessica Kane, Channel 2 has learned that crews will soon start searching another site. It was prisoner William Reese who sent searchers to that original search location. Sion Rhodes live in Manville, Brazoria County with this new development. Sion? And Dominique, on Friday, investigators said that Reese may have information about other bodies buried in the area. And now sources telling us that, in fact, another search will begin later this week in Brazoria County. Just one mile from the busy Highway 6 288 interchange in Manville, a gravel road called Iowa Lane, unofficially known as Body Lane in these parts. There's been at least four to five bodies dumped on this road, and it's just. It's ridiculous. John Rogers was raised here and knows the heavily wooded area well. Growing up as a kid, this was my playground. You know, I, I, I know I know pretty much every bit of the property around this area here. He even found one of the bodies that gave this street its auspicious nickname. Yeah, right up the road up here. It happened to be, uh, ended up being somebody I knew. A source tells Channel 2 this week investigators will begin a second site search in Brazoria County connected to William Reese. It's understandable to see, to believe that he would be coming down in this area. Reese is serving a 60 year prison sentence for kidnapping another woman, but has been linked to the 1997 disappearance of 17 year old Jessica Kane and 20 year old North Texas college student Kelly Cox. In late February, Reese led investigators to a southeast Houston pasture, and on Friday, after weeks of digging, crews found skeletal remains. Now, yet another search to solve a decades old mystery is about to begin. If he did, I hope they find it. Let the person get some rest. Now, the Brazoria County Sheriff's Office is not saying much about this, except that the Texas Rangers are leading this part of the investigation. So far, the Texas Rangers have not returned our call for a comment. The Harris County Medical Examiner looking over those remains found on Friday. They say they have not yet made a positive identification. Live in Brazoria County, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.